Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and yes, I got another neat review for you today. This one is super neat. Uh, this one is the Vifly R220. Now, what is the R220? Well, this one here is actually I got is a prototype, but it's it's a quadcopter that's coming out here in the near future. Um, it's intended mainly for um, beginner or entry level into racing, not beginner flyers, but I mean people that already have you know intermediate flyers that have a little bit of experience in, in flying, but who wish to enter into um, FPV racing. That's what this one here is designed for. Um, as such, it's built very tough. Um, on the bottom here, it's uh, carbon fiber, and on the top here, I think it's actually metal plate. I'm not sure. It, it might be carbon fiber also. Um, I just don't see the uh, modeling that you see normally on carbon fiber on the top structure here. Uh, other things about this quadcopter, let's go over the quadcopter from the front to the back. It comes with a tiltable 600 TVL camera on the front here. Um, it has uh, 2300 uh, kV motors, uh, you know, that's RPM per volt motors, with, uh, it comes with 54 or 5045 bullnose uh, propellers. Um, the, uh, what's really neat about this is the 40 channel FPV transmitter system. Um, you, it's not only, it, it's three uh, versions of power, you can select uh, 25 mi milliwatt, 200 milliwatt, or even 500 milliwatt by simply holding this button down and it will cycle through those. So, you know, if you're you're just flying short range and you want to save battery power, um, you know, by not diverting as much energy to the um, FPV transmitter, um, you can do that. Or if you want to fly long range FPV with this and select up to 500 milliwatts power so you can get way out there, you can do that too. You know, it's selectable. In addition, um, you can change through the different channel bands by quick presses of this, and it'll go through, you know, the E, the F uh, bands, um, both scan bands, to, um, you know, uh, switch different frequencies in case, you know, the frequency you're using is clobbered by uh, interference. Internal of this, uh, we have a Seriously Pro Racing F3, I believe it's a six-duff board, so there's no compass, no barometer, but that's no big loss either. Additionally, with your FPV system, we have on-screen display, uh, mainly so that we, we know actual battery power from this transmitter, and also it tells you what frequency you're operating on, too, on the on-screen display, along with attitude of the quadcopter, you know, tilt and roll. So, you know, those are good features to, to know and see on your uh, FPV uh, display through the on-screen display system. Um, there's a two, additionally two addition, uh, buttons on the back here. I'm not sure what they f are for. Uh, they may be just for this prototype edition, um, but um, I asked these uh, from the manufacturer, and they really didn't couldn't tell me what they were for, or at least the person I was dealing with couldn't tell me what they were for. But uh, it has two additional buttons on the back here for something. <laughs> um, the receiver antennas are properly angled at about 90 degrees, as close to 90 degrees as they should be. You know, they're not close together like you see some other companies just haphazardly put your receiver antennas in. Uh, these are angled to give you appropriate, uh, you know, maximum uh, reception uh, possibility for your quadcopter here. It comes with a circular polarized antenna. I've, you know, that is always a benefit if you get it for racers because you're going to be yanking and banking. You want a circular polarized antenna. Another neat thing on this is if you see right there, this little plug here, this is for if you want to want to include a DVR uh, system to this, you know, so that you can record directly your FPV reception, you can. Um, you can include one of those little DVRs. It has the power for it, the video output for it, and a ground point port for it too. So uh, keep that in mind too, folks. Um, it comes with a 1500 milliamp per hour 3S battery, 11.1 volt battery um, that is strapped down as you see here. Now this post here, is not really for the battery. <laughs> this is for future future incorporation of the GoPro uh, mount. Um, right now, they're, they're actually still uh, designing this and uh, modifying it, but uh, this is for the future incorporation of the GoPro mount onto this quadcopter here. Um, if you look at this, um, right now I have a hard time uh, attaching a camera, and I did not include a camera with it for this particular uh, flight. I might be able to modify something to go on this future GoPro mount, but uh, right now I did not, but I want to get this flight in. So we're going to fly relatively close is what I'm trying to say, folks, since I don't have ability to um, get aerial video other than recording the FPV video on my uh, receiver screen over there. 
So it will be a close in flight. Um, that's it for the quadcopter. Let's go over the transmitter here. Transmitter is a real Fly Sky. It's not rebranded, which is good. It, does, it says Fly Sky on the top here. Um, let's see. I did not modify much. I did have to go in though and do minor modifications. But again, keep keep in mind this is a prototype, so that's to be expected. I had to go in and, and uh, enable the failsafe, is what I'm trying to say here, folks. Additionally, uh, the way this prototype was set up is. Um, this switch here was for arming the uh, quadcopter and by pulling the switch down that would bring the motors to idle. I did not like that just from the, using a switch. I wanted to make it a little more safer so what I did was I disarmed the switch so to arm the quadcopter you bring the stick down and to the right and to disarm it down and to the left and I also included throttle hold. I added throttle hold to this switch here. So that's it in effect. I think we are ready to go for a flight. The way I have it set up or it came to me is this position here for switch C is angle mode. This position here for switch C is horizon mode. And all the way down is acro mode. So we should be ready to go. Let's go for flight of the uh, VR220 or the R220 from Vifly and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we have a wind out here today. It's about five to six knots or five to six miles per hour. I'm sorry. Um, but that's not too extreme, especially for a racer. Racers should easily be able to fly a five mile per hour wind. So we are going to fly. Um, let me turn this off for now. Okay, we have FPV reception. Um, we're ready to go. I'm going to start my timer again. We're going to fly for four minutes since this is the first flight of this thing. And starting the motors. And we are in angle mode going up. Let's see how, how it behaves in angle mode. Back, forward. Okay, let's go around. Well, it's nice and gentle, actually. Good flyer, actually. Okay, while well, we got power, let's bring it in close. And try. Punch. <laughs> it's got punch. <laughs> we always want to try the punch. Remember, we got to keep it close here, folks, so I'm not going to be going too wild with it because I got to fly close and to be safe I got to I want you to see it in other words let's try it again good little quad again this is meant for new flyers into FPV racing it's relatively easy to fly feels very easy good maneuverability it is a good quad. <laughs> okay. Let's come down. Why am I way up there? <laughs> Loves to climb. Okay, let's bring it in close so you can see it and flying. In the wind here. <laughs> Okay, let's go out a little bit away and go into position two. Try position two, see how its stability is. How's it going? Okay, did a little flip there. Trying that out. Very, very, very maneuverable in position two. There we got a little bit of a rolls. The rolls good. Does real nice rolls and nice recoveries in position two since it's stabilized. Keep that in mind, folks. So bringing it down lower. Remember position two, there's no angle restriction, so Wow, we can go real fast now. Extremely fast. Very maneuverable in horizon. Good quadcopter. 
Okay, let's bring it in again. I want you to see it. I'm flying too far away. I know that. So for the remainder, we're going to leave it in close. Let's take a look at this thing hovering. Again, it's nice and stable for beginner flyers, especially in angle mode. And that's what this is intended for, beginner flyers. And this is a suitable intro to FPV. It really is. I like it. Um, they're offering this. It's not for sale yet. <laughs> Again, this is a prototype. Um, it will be uh, on Indiegogo here shortly if it's not already. Um, you know, if you want to get entry prices on this, it's a, it's another one of those quadcopters that's being offered through funding itself. <laughs> and I hear the beep. It's got a beeper on board. It tells you when it's getting low. There's my beeper. But this supposedly has a beeper too when you reach low battery voltage. Neat, neat quadcopter. See, as I, as I give it a lot of power right now, it's starting to enter into its uh, low battery state. And I do hear the beeper starting. So overall, yeah, this is probably going to be a neat, neat quadcopter for intro FPV flyers. Um, it's good that a manufacturer finally understands that, you know, new flyers are going to need something that's easy to enter into. There goes my low, low power beeping. I'm bringing it in now. No battery warning. But um, that's the idea behind this one. And yeah, shut it get off. Um, it's designed for new flyers wishing to enter into FPV. It's made very tough, very capable of handling crashes, um, but it has a lot of nice features on it, advanced features, particularly OSD. I like OSD because it tells you your battery voltage as you're flying. You know, you know when you're getting low. And I also like the idea of this uh, uh, three uh, power avail you know, three availability of three different power settings on this from 25, 200 milliwatt and 500 milliwatt. You know, to save battery power, you can go down to 25 milliwatt and stay close. So it is an interesting design. I've never seen one designed like this. Um, very, everything's enclosed in here. So um, unfortunately, you know, uh, advanced flyers might not like this because they like to go in and tinker with stuff. This is not meant for tinkering. This is meant ready to fly out of the box. And it is ready to fly out of the box. And that's what I like about it. So this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight of the ViFly R220 Quadcopter 101. Signing out.